It's time for Around the Ozarks News, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Roto Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, 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 good morning. It's only Sarah today. My better half is in Houston, Texas, uh, helping Convoy of Hope deal with the flooding, with a power outage in all of the very hot homes right now. At the height of it, 2.25 million people were out of electricity after Hurricane Barrel came ashore as a Cat 1 Plus, compounding that is all the flooding, uh, but the utility crews have been hard at work. Now there is a lot less than a million without, but still very hot for a lot of homes there. So that is where Ethan is, and I decided to let Diana sleep in because it was very last minute. Uh, Here's a look at some other news. A couple new laws on the books. Governor Parson signed one that creates a licensing requirement for childcare facilities. Now that should help better vet and catch concerns before they become big problems. Plus, he signed a bill aimed at addressing veteran suicides. The numbers, as you may know, are alarmingly high. And finally, he signed a bill that will expand the powers in the state auditor's office. Now to this, a strip mall along South Campbell, not too far from Sunset, caught fire on Wednesday night. Now the small business owners are cleaning up and hoping to get back up and running soon. The fire started at what's called 611, a store there. Uh, Nearby businesses also had smoke damage. No one was injured. The cause of that fire is under investigation. Well, can you believe it? Did you hear this? A 14-year-old boy from Nixa was bitten by a shark in Florida. It happened in Volusia County. The shark got him on the foot at the Daytona Beach Shores. Now, his injuries are not considered life-threatening, but we do not yet know how extensive the foot injury is. Wow. But again, a 14 year old boy from Nixa, as you know, this is the fourth shark bite in that uh, area. If you need stamps, you better get them tomorrow. That's because on Sunday, the price is going up again. The first class forever stamp will go up by five cents to 73 cents total. It's all to try to help the U S postal service get back Um, in the black, you could say they need to get back financially stable again. This is the second price hike just this year. Well, Redbox is history. You know, Redbox, honestly, the only time we ever used it was on long road trips. So my, my kids are going to be very sad to find this out, but yeah, the DVD kiosk rental business filed for bankruptcy. That is chapter seven liquidation. Redbox's parent company is about $1 billion in debt. Insiders say the company's 1000 employees are with no job and no severance pay. Well, secondhand smoke is bad, no doubt, but it is worse with traditional cigarettes as compared to e-cigs. Researchers looked at blood samples from nearly 1,800 people and found the kids with the most nicotine exposure by far are that of traditional tobacco over e-cigs. Of course, e-cigs, they say, are still dangerous, even the secondhand smoke from them around kids, uh, but just not nearly as bad. All right. If you or a loved one is a wounded veteran, there is an event for you tomorrow. It's happening from nine to 11 at the Doling Family Center in the gym. Just show up tomorrow. You can connect with other wounded veterans from our area. Enjoy a free lunch, win some door prizes, play pickleball or some other fun games if you want. And should be a great event free for you and a companion. And thank you for your service. Hopefully you can uh, find some people who you can connect with who've been in a similar boat. So thank you to the park board for putting that free event on tomorrow. All right. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope to see Ethan back here on Monday morning, dark and early. So tune in then. Uh, and until then, hope you can stay cool this weekend. Have a good one. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooters Coffee and Rescue Towing. Here's your host, meteorologist, Abby Dyer. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your Friday. It is July 12th. We've made it to the end of the work week. 
Didn't it feel like kind of a long week after the holiday week last week? Uh, well, we made it. It's Friday. We've got a weekend ahead and it's looking like a very summer-like weekend in the Ozark. So if you enjoy the summertime weather, you are in luck. We are talking about temperatures today that are starting off very warm. In fact, either side of 70 degrees early this morning, it's a warm start to the day. We're going to see numbers warm up to near 90 this afternoon for the high temperatures. I've got opportunities for some isolated showers and thunderstorms in the forecast, and we will hold on to that isolated chance for rain with a frontal boundary in the area as we head into Saturday as well. These are not washout days. I don't want to give you that impression. We are going to have plenty of dry time in this forecast, sunny and hot through much of the weekend, and the heat index is going to start making a headline for the center part of the country again. We've got a big ridge of high pressure that's going to build and strengthen, cut off our rain chances, and provide uh, heat index values that are likely in the 100 to 110 range starting on Sunday of this weekend and lasting through about Wednesday of next week. It'll be super hot in the Ozarks. Today, a range in temperatures, and a lot of that has to do with uh, where the rain actually develops later today. Much like yesterday, the rain's not for everybody, but there will be a handful of showers and thunderstorms on the radar. Once again, it's only about a 25% chance for some of those pop-up showers and thunderstorms. And then I think the more likely dry time will come for us on Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures tomorrow and on Sunday will climb to the mid 90s. In fact, we could be in the upper 90s by the time Sunday rolls around. It is going to be brutally hot across the Ozarks, and that heat looks to stick around as we head into next week. So July proving to be a hot one here in the Ozarks. We do have several days of dry time, though, which is nice because it's kind of saturated in many spots around the country, what's making headlines, a stalled frontal boundary causing scattered areas of flash flooding for portions of the mid-Atlantic today. And then we are also still talking about dangerous heat and record high temperatures continuing for much of the West to end the work week. And as we head into the weekend, it does look like the heat backs off slightly for the West Coast as it moves into the Midwest. So it'll be ending up here in the Ozarks. We will start to get our little heat wave developing and really strengthening by the time Sunday rolls around. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister Trivia question for the day. This one having to do with some of those famous weather scales. What is the name of the scale used to measure wind strengths? The options that I gave you yesterday were A, the Beaufort scale, B, the enhanced Fujita scale, C, the Saffir Simpson scale, or D, the vector scale of motion. If you know your scales, you hear about the enhanced Fujita scale or the EF scale quite a bit. However, the correct answer is A, the Beaufort scale. It is the Beaufort wind scale, one of the first scales to estimate wind speeds and the effects. Um, it was created by a British admiral, uh, in 1857. So quite a long time ago, he developed the scale in 1805, actually, to help sailors estimate the winds uh, with visual observations. The scale starts with zero and goes to 12. Uh, it is still used today to estimate wind strength. So if you hear someone using that, they are assessing the wind. Of course, the EF scale that we hear a lot about a lot the, in the Ozarks is the enhanced Fujita scale, and that is to measure the strength of tornadoes after they happen with a storm assessment. All right, here's the question that I'll leave you with and have the answer for on early Monday morning. Eating what during pregnancy could boost your baby's IQ? according to a study published in 2018. Do you think you, those mamas should be eating A, bacon and eggs, B, biscuits and gravy, C, raisin bran and yogurt, or D, French toast? Let me know your guess. You can do that at aroundtheozarks.com. Every single day here on Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, we are giving away $20 to Scooter's Coffee. So head on over to the website, enter to win there. And thank you to our sponsors, Rescue Towing and Scooter's Coffee. Thank you so much for listening this morning. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Find a way to stay cool and beat the heat this weekend. And also grab the umbrella if you're heading out right now. We're looking at a high temperature right around 90 degrees today.